Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to add beautiful text animations and motion graphics on a video using Typito and customize them the way you want. So I got a project created already with a video uploaded and let's take a quick look at the video now. Let me click on the play button and get the video playing. Cool. So this looks like a good spot to add some text. This is the aerial view of a town in Kerala in India and Kerala is popularly known as God's own country. So let's try to drive home a point here using text to our audience. You can check out the left panel here and this is where all the text options are laid out. You got the basic options here and you have the exquisite options too which are basically motion graphic text templates that animate beautifully. To start with, we'll try to focus only on the basic text options. So I click on add a title here. As you can see, the text already shows up on the video. It's very easy to change the content of the text template. You can just click here on the text area and make the edit. So let me type in God's own country. You can extend the text area horizontally by clicking on the handle here. You can just drag it. Yeah, that's how it works. And if you want the text size to be larger, you can just click on the bottom right handle here and drag it again. You can make the template smaller or larger using this feature. We don't have the concept of font sizes in Typito. You basically drag and make them bigger or smaller. Let me also show you how to position text on the video. Right now, you are in the selected mode. So you can simply hover on the border area to see a drag icon replacing the cursor. You can then click the template there and start moving around. Now, if you are not in selected mode, you can hover on the text and you would notice an area which gets highlighted and you click anywhere in this area, you could just drag it to wherever you want to have it on the video. So we can have it as a lower third or in the top area as you wish. In this video, I'll prefer to have it somewhere in the center, so I'll keep it here. I also want it to be really big and bold. So yeah, I think this is a good place to keep the text. So let's look at the text editing options we have on Typito. You can change the font style of the text. We have a pretty good collection of fonts on Typito, and we are planning to add many more in the days to come. Let me scroll through the options to decide on a font. I like Roboto Black. Roboto Black makes it look very bold and strong. So just click on it and it will show you the preview. So as you can see, Roboto Black is now selected. Next you have the text alignment options, left and right and center options. I'll prefer to keep it to the center in this video since it's just one line of text. You got the color option here. This is very important. You will probably want to have the color of the text to be something which contrasts well with the video at the background. Preferably not something like this one here or even black. You could go with white here. It will look good. You've also got transparency option here. This is very important when you don't want your overlay graphics, the text and images to obstruct the video content. In that case, you can use the transparency slider here to decide what level it should be, opaque or transparent for that matter. So let me give it a hundred because I'm not worried about transparency in this video. And after that, we have got the entry and exit animation options. Before going to that, let's just see how the text appears on the video right now. So I click outside the text area and go back five seconds. You saw that the text kind of fades in and fades out and it stays for approximately 2-3 to three seconds. This is the default animation behavior for basic text on Typito. You can change the entry animation using this option here. Currently it is defaulted to fade in. You can move it to reveal in left and the out you can make it reveal out right. Now let's just see what happens. So that's about the entry and exit animation options. 
Now I want to talk about the duration for which the text would be on the video. So that is controlled by this area on the editor. Typeo is designed in a way that it lets you specify when the text should enter or exit at a frame level. You can see some components here which I will explain in detail. So there is this left handlebar which marks exactly where the animation starts and the right handlebar which denotes where it ends. You've also got a current time marker that denotes the current time on the video. To change the time in and time out of the text, you just need to move the left and right handlebars to the respective timestamps. Let me play the video first and then explain. This is where the landscape view of Munar starts. I would want the text to come in here. So I'll drag the left handlebar to this location. So I'm done with time in now. Similarly, I can change the timeout. Let me do that. That's close to three seconds of text. I think that would work great. You can also see an area where the text that you added gets represented on a timeline. We call it the overlay timeline. This gives an idea about where exactly the text is placed on the video. The overlay timeline is an absolute alignment with the video timeline here. Adding background for text is a very common practice today. You would have seen it in a lot of 60 second Facebook videos. It improves readability of text drastically, especially when the video at the background has a range of colors. Adding a background is pretty easy in Type 2. Let me click on this rectangle icon here. You can drag it to the right size and then position it behind the text using this back control. Let me also give the background a color that contrasts well with the text. So black it is. You can now move them around by dragging and selecting over both the elements. You will notice that the timeline editor here denotes that the elements have different entry and exit timestamps. You can just make them enter and exit together by moving the handlebars, very similar to how you did it for the text. Let's see how the animation plays out now. Everything looks great, except that the text and background animates differently. The background fades in and out, whereas the text reveals in and out laterally. Now let's set both to have reveal in and out animations and see how they play out. You can see it's much better now, but it looks like two different entities animating similarly at the same time, but with a link between them is missing. They look like two independent elements which happen to animate at the same time in the same way. Let's figure out how to fix that next. While setting time in and time out for multiple elements, you can find this option, animate as a group. When you opt for this, the elements would start animating as if they are part of one object. Let's enable animate as a group for both in and out and see how they animate. You can see that the elements now behave like a single entity. You can try group animation whenever you have multiple elements to animate together. Also you should note that group animations work only when the objects have the same time in and time out and also follow the same entry and exit animation styles. In this case, reveal in left and reveal out right. One of the most widely used feature on Typeito is save template. If you want to reuse a specific text animation or a certain group of graphics, you can just click on this copy icon and it would save a copy of that under saved template section. You can access them in all your projects. It's mostly used by video creators who follow a specific set of brand layouts and templates across all their videos. Deleting text or graphics on Typeito is easy and simple. You can select the graphics and click on the delete option here. You will also notice that the overlay timeline 
would reflect the deletion immediately. Many a times, video creators come across the need to add an image on the video. It could be a logo or an image that helps them explain a concept or a mugshot of a person they are referring to. Typeno lets you add an image on video pretty easily. You can just click on upload image option on the bottom left corner and upload an image from your computer. Once it is uploaded, you will find it in images tab under your images at the bottom. You can also navigate there by clicking this link. Once you click on the image, it shows up on the video and you can then animate it on the video just like you did with text. Let me have the default animation options and keep it throughout the video like a logo on the top corner. Exquisite templates are engaging motion graphic templates that you can add on the video with a click just like text and images. They usually have inherent animation styles that can't be modified but would let you customize the color and content and sometimes more. You can find all three types of graphics here, titles for your video, lower thirds and also social media cards. Let's click on one of these to see how they work. Let me change the text first and then we will preview the animation. As you can see, it's very similar to other elements you add on your video. Exquisite templates make your video look very professional with minimal effort and it engages your audience as well. So I think that's about it. We have covered most of the aspects of adding text and graphics on a video using Typeito. Hope you found the tutorial helpful. Thank you.